Welcome back, Dead Eyes and Ghost Beaters. If you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming, and today we're going to talk about something in Evil Dead I think we absolutely need more of, and that is female characters. Now, obviously, when the game dropped, there was 13 survivors and three demons. And of those 13 survivors, we had four female survivors, so less than one-third. Uh, and as we've added five additionals, we're now to that one-third period as we've gone out of six of 18 with the inclusion of Ruby and Mia in the DLC. And we've gone to the point where the demons are, you know, two out of five. So we have added some female characters, but we're still getting more male characters. And there is some really big omissions that deserve to be in the game. I'm going to talk about the five I think need to be added ASAP over 2023 because we have probably a few more content drops before we roll into 2024. Now, four of these will be an absolute slam dunk. You're going to completely agree with me. You're not going to have any argument whatsoever. And you're going to be like, yep, that makes sense. And one of them is going to be a little bit of a deep cut. But hell, if we can get Blacksmith, Ed Getley, The Witch, we can get anyone at this point. Really? Like, come on. Like, I love The Witch. She's huge in the comics, one of my favorite villains in the comics, but she has 45 seconds in Army of Darkness. Like, if we're going to get the deep cuts, we're going to get the deep cuts. All right? Now, I'm not saying a character has to be added just because they're female. We all know the number one most requested character across the board is Chet Kaminsky. Like, everyone wants Ted Raimi in the game. But with all the releases coming throughout the rest of the year, Aside from chat, we should consider pushing up some extra female characters, and there's some really good ones out there. And first of all, we're going to talk about the number one, probably the most obvious one, and that's going to be Beth from Evil Dead Rise. Now, Beth has been talked about on this channel ad nauseum. I've talked about Beth for a while now, even before the release of Evil Dead Rise, and I think it's clear that both her and her sister deserve to be in the game. They should probably come in as a pairing. You get Beth and Ellie on opposing sides. Beth would most likely be a warrior based on the way the movie went. And you basically have a slam dunk character. <laughs> Movies gone over a hundred million for a horror film, which is great. There's only a few that have done that this year so far. There's even only a few that did it last year. So a booming success for Evil Dead Rise. They're already talking about continuing the series. Bruce is even talking about coming back as Ash. Like there's a lot good going on in the Evil Dead cinematic universe. And Beth is an absolute slam dunk. Number two. And that's easy as well. I don't think anyone would have any opposing to Brandy Barr Williams. Pick a name. Probably going to be Brandy Williams for the sake of the game. Brandy is the daughter of Ash and, of course, the granddaughter of Brock. And the reason I said they'd probably go with Williams over Barr is because of the fact that Brock's aura gives that boost to and from having Williams in the party. And it would make sense to have Brandy as a warrior as well. And I'd give her a screwdriver mastery, really cool melee weapon they could add with her. And of course she would get Brock's bonuses and pair her off and can finally do four different Williamses in one party. Number three, also pretty much a slam dunk. I think most people would completely agree. And I've talked about her well before even the launch of the game. And that is M. Beth Davis's Sheila from Army of Darkness. Now, we've had all the big characters from Army of Darkness. We have AOD Ash, we have Arthur, Henry, Evil Ash, even smaller characters like the witch who already mentioned. Blacksmith have snuck into the game, and it makes a lot of sense to bring in Sheila as a support. You could definitely do something with her on that front. And I think she's one of those characters I feel like we really need. Very popular from the movie. And Army of Darkness seems to be a series they have no problem getting stuff for as it dominated season one. Number four, this would be my personal preference. And this one I feel though should probably be brought in with a male counterpart. And that would be finally going back to Evil Dead 2 and bringing in Bobby, Joe, and Jake. Now I feel like they're kind of a tandem we all want together. I love Evil Dead 2. It is my favorite of the series. And yeah, we got a few characters from it. We got Annie. We got Evil Dead 2 Ash. And we got Ed Getley, which was such an odd pick for me. But you know what? It is what it is. But I absolutely feel like Evil Dead 2 and Evil Dead 1, for that matter, need more love. But I thought that Bobby Joe made more sense to me than bringing in, like, Shelly or Linda. Because especially since Linda's already been kind of pigeon-toled into the evil side. And Bobby Joe could be brought in as support to Jake's Hunter. And I feel like it would be great to have them in a party together. I feel like you would have some awesome lines. Like Bobby Joe's getting lost and Jake's screaming for her. Like, give it to me. Give it to me now. 
Finally, number five. And as I said, number five is kind of a deep cut because you have to be a Sam Raimi, not just an Evil Dead fan, to be familiar with this film. And no, it is not a crossover because it's set in the same universe. So it's Evil Dead adjacent. And Sam's already hard at work on the sequel for Drag Me to Help. And I feel like it's an absolute slam dunk to bring in Christine Brown, the heroine of what we'll now call the first Drag Me to Hell, into the game. She could be a great kind of combination character she could very well be a warrior but you could also put her in as a hunter with warrior like components kind of like you have blacksmith as a support with warrior like components and I would absolutely give her a shovel mastery, which if you've seen the graveyard scene you know exactly what I'm talking about now before you say, Old Head, it's not an Evil Dead movie, Sam has already confirmed it's in the same universe, so it's not a crossover, it's just something that's kind of off to the side, and he's now doing a second one, and if you haven't seen Drag Me to Hell, I absolutely do to confirm complete your Evil Dead compendium because a lot of people don't think of it as an Evil Dead movie because it doesn't have it in the title, but it is, and you should probably check it out. These are my five. Obviously, there's other female characters you could probably put up that would be in just as well, but those five to me seem far more important than other ones being mentioned. Um, I know there's other characters that are people like, yeah, we need to get this person or this person in, but for me, those would be the five best highest quality female characters that could be added as soon as possible. Tell me who you think though in the comments below. Do you think we should get XYZ character? Give me your suggestions. Tell me why you do or do not like my list. I want to hear it all in the comments below. Thanks for watching and later mates.